Hello everyone, I'm Stefan. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Pythagorean theorem. What is a Pythagorean theorem? Well, let's say that we have a triangle, something like this. What is a triangle? It's an angle that has 90 degrees in one side. Doesn't matter what, si or what the dimensions that the triangle has, bigger or small, since has a, a right triangle is a is a, is a right uh, has a 90 degree uh, degrees is a right triangle and if is a right triangle is always this theorem is true that said for example in this case we have C here it's called hypotenuse so say the theory says hypotenuse square is equal to the legs squared this they call it the hypotenuse and this they call it legs in this case when we are talking about trigonometry we talk to, we say this here the hypotenuse and we say this the adjacent if we are talking about this angle and they say this we call it the opposite when we are talking about uh, the trigonometry in this case we call it just legs because it could be any one so this is the theorem of uh, of um, Pythagorean and we have two famous uh, triangles if we have here four and we have here three we have to have five here why if it's calculated we have uh, we say c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared is equal to 16 plus 9 is 25 therefore c is equal square root of 25 give us 5 and we have another angle another triangle is famous when we have here 12 and we have here 5 we had to have 13 here this comes from let's see c is equal to a square plus b square squared here squared here is equal to 12 squared plus 5 square is equal to 144 plus 25 is equal to 169 therefore c is equal square root of 169 is equal to 13 if you have a triangle has those dimensions you know is a right triangle and has a angle of 90 degrees so let's do some examples and some kind of triangles as well trigonometric as well so we're going to do this example let's say we have here five and we have here three we were going to find the hypotenuse so what the hypotenuse will be you just call it c it will be c squared is equal a squared plus b squared and it's going to give us 25 plus 9 is it will be 34 therefore c will be square root of 34 now let's do assume that we are looking for this one here the same thing we are doing let's look uh, now for this one for example you just take this 5 and move it the other side let's say we have 3 and we have 5 here this we have 6 so we know that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared therefore a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared and is equal to 36 6 squared is 36 minus 9 equal to 30, uh, 27 therefore c is equal square root of 27 is equal to 3 
square root of 3 so here it will be 3 square root of 3 that's the answer is going to be you can just play around with the algebra since you put this uh, theorem correctly so other other things is just an algebra let's say we have here for example we have here 5 and we have here 3 uh, we have here 7 we want to calculate the size here C so using Pythagorean theorem we know that C C is equal C squared is equal to a squared plus B squared so it's going to give us here 25 5 squared is 25 plus 49 is 7 squared is equal to 60 74 therefore C is equal to square root of 74 that's the answer and let's do another example let's see let's uh, do some other identities if we take this angle here this angle here alpha we can say alpha is equal 30 degrees for example you know that uh, when we have a right triangle sine alpha is equal the opposite of our hypotenuse this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse therefore is equal to b to b over c and the cosine alpha is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse this is the adjacent here and this is the hypotenuse and we have tangent alpha is equal to opposite over adjacent is equal to this one here over this one here the three identities let's try to use it with this one here and see what we can get let's see we have this angle theory and we have for example any one of this we still we can calculate them all let's say we have this equal six okay so we know that uh, sine let's also use in this case we use cosine because it has a uh, up as the adjacent let's take this off we said that uh, we have the sine sine alpha is equal to sine 30 degrees is equal to we said the we're talking about cosine mix up cosine is uh, alpha cosine 30 is equal to adjacent is a over c this is adjacent we said before this is hypotenuse therefore and then we don't forget that is equal to square root of 3 over 2 cosine theory is equal to square root of 3 over 2 and we know that uh, a is 6 is so equal to 6 over c therefore c it will be in this case we just multiply this here and we multiply this here then we take this down here so let's do that what we are going to get just 12 over square root of 3 if you multiply both sides in square root of 3 we will have 12 square root of 3 
over 3 and we will have 4 square roots of 3 so to simplify the radicals usually how we see in the last class if you're going to go back and see we don't try we don't like to leave the radicals in, in the denominator so we can simplify it like that and uh, now we already know that this one here is 4 square root of 4 square root of 3 4 square root of 3 I'll have to write it again. Say four square root of three, and we have here we say six. Now we are going to find this one here. To find this one here is very simple. We said here thirty. We can just use the tangent or arc tangent. We will do inverse function in next class, please, if you want to subscribe so you can see it. So to find this one here, we have sine alpha equal sine 30 degrees equal to B over C equal to square root of uh, 4 square root of 3 4 square root of 3 equal 1 over 2 sine theory is equal to 1 over 2 Up, so it will be 1 over 4 square root of 3 this is the right one because b is b is this one here and c is this one here therefore so here it will be b I'm mixing stuff b therefore it will be 2b is equal to 4 square root of 3 so we can cancel two from here and from here and we will end with two square root of two here it will be two square root of two so this is the answers otherwise if you know the inverse function we know that the tangent Now the tangent alpha is equal to b over c, therefore b it will be just c tangent theory, it will be just, see if, let's see if we are going to get the same answer, we said c is 4 square root of 3. And tangent alpha is tangent theory. So we have that one for here. It will be times tangent theory. Remember it. Theory is going to be is sine over cosine, and we have sine is 1 over 2 over square root of 3 over 2. So cancel this here, it will be 3 over square root of 3. will be square root of 3 over 3 so here multiply in square root of 3 over 3 
So what we're going to get for square root of three times square root of three. Let's see this time we can use the tangent and see if we can find here the same answer. We find b is, two, is square root of 3, 2 square root of 3. Square root of 3. So let's use tangent to see if we can, we're going to find the same answer. We know the tangent, alpha, this angle here, is equal to opposite, always tangent is opposite over the adjacent. In this case, it will be b equal b over a, and is equal to 2 square root of 3 over 6 and is equal to square root of 3 over 3 the call the tangent 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3 so what we're going to get here from this equality <coughs> we're going to get we're calculating B. So we're putting B here. We're calculating B. So therefore, B, just we raise this to, the, to here, and that's it. We multiply 6. So therefore, B is equal to 6 square root of 3 over 3. So we see we can cancel here by 3. And we will have two square root of three, and we see we get same answer even using different method. How this is everything about uh, uh, Pythagorean theorem. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share and wait for next video. Thank you.